following video contains step-by-step -step instructions on how to maintenance a 6 through 8 inch Derringer 50 first check. These are the tools required. To remove the first check, loosen the check retaining bolt on both sides of the body until flush with the inside of the valve. Remove the first check from the valve body. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the tower screws. Separate the tower assembly from the check seat. If debris is found on the first check seal disc, the check may just be fouled. The debris can be cleaned off to make the check seal properly without having to replace the check seal disc. Use a rag and some water to clean the debris off of the check seal disc. Examine the seat for any debris or damage. Examine the seat o-ring for damage and debris. Replace the seat o-ring if necessary. Examine the tower screw o-rings for damage. Replace the tower screw o-rings if necessary. Once the debris has been cleared from the check disc and no damage is present, the check can be reassembled and reinstalled into the valve body for testing. If damage to the check disc has been found, please take the following steps to remove and replace the damaged check disc. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the seal disc retaining screws. Remove the seal disc retainer to expose the disc. Remove the seal disc. Install the new seal disc, making sure it is completely flat inside the check cavity. Reinstall the seal disc retainer. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, reinstall the seal disc retainer screws. The Derringer 40 and 50 first check is a true poffet check. The check orientation is not important when reattaching the check assembly to the first check seat. Reattach the tower assembly to the first check seat. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, re-tighten the tower screws. To remove the second check, loosen the check retaining bolts located on both sides of the body until flush with the inside of the valve. Reinstall the first check into the valve body and make sure the o-ring seals properly against the surface. Retighten the first check retaining bolt on both sides of the body. Make sure the first check retaining bolts don't bind against the check. Perform a test on the backflow preventer according to your local testing regulations to ensure that the check valves and relief valve have been repaired properly. For more information about the Derringer product line, further technical support, or to download a copy of these instructions, please visit our website at backflowdirect.com.